little too soft. It's cold. It's cold. I'm not ready. Fishheads, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Happy Valentine's Day. That's when we're shooting this. That's not necessarily when you're going to see it. I don't know when you see it. You're on your own schedule. I've got no control over that. But thanks for the view. I appreciate it. It is Jen. It's Friday. It's Valentine's Day. February the 14th rolls around but once every year. And, and this morning, I want to give a shout out. First and foremost, let's throw the picture up on the screen. Congratulations and happy, happy Valentine's Day. It's your first Valentine's Day as husband and wife to Stephen Hernandez and his lovely wife, Amanda. I hope you enjoy this little fun lure. I had a blast making it. You should fish with it. Maybe it's lucky. You never know. But happy, happy, happy Valentine's Day to you guys down in Texas. Congratulations on your marriage and your first Valentine's Day as husband and wife. Okay, let's get into some baits stoked about these these are fun so i started the video out with this little guy i get asked a ton over the year over the course of the year like probably hundreds of times is there anything magic that you guys can do for this no no you have to dig these out okay and sometimes you have to wait until they get a little bit harder. But there's nothing, and I use drip wires. I did not show you the process this morning of the drip wire coming off here, but I do. And they hang, but sometimes it gets lodged. You just have to get like a little knife, like I use. I use an old Swiss Army knife. Obviously not sponsored, but this little thing has stood the test of time. And it's perfect because you really don't want too sharp of a blade because every once in a while I'll miss and I don't want a super sharp blade going into under my thumbnail or into my hands. So these things are perfect. I sharpen it up maybe once, twice a year, but not super sharp. It's meant to be just scraping. So you have to scrape your eyelets. You have to do a little bit of work to get your bait cleaned up. Some guys and gals use Dremels. I've seen it done. But you have to be very, very careful and make sure that you have a small enough attachment to get inside this and around the edges not to hit the rest of the paint job or your epoxy or sealer or clear coat or kbs is what i use um, so you just have to be super careful i just prefer the the old elbow grease and a pen knife that's what i do so we're not going to go over this one you guys have seen a ton of them it's been real popular this week so thank you guys for the orders but i do have i'm going to start out with like Okay, so this little guy, it's a cool bait. This is a Damiki Brute. It's their version of a square bill. Sort of has that wide lip like the Mega Bass do. And the, like the, is it a Norman or is it a Bandit? Anyways, there's, there's a fat boy that has this type of a lip. And the action in this, the swimming and hunting action is really good. And it's got a heavy knock in it. I don't know if you guys can hear that real well, but it's really cool. But I don't know if I'm digging this bait or if it's like the ugly sweater bait of 2020 so far. I did it fluorescent style. It's it's not attached to an owner. I might throw it around. Um, if any of you guys out there are interested in it, I can throw a price tag on there for you. I won't make it too expensive. But the, the bait itself, uh, I'd have to go back and check, but I believe that the price points on these Brutes for Damiki sit somewhere around 10 bucks if i'm not mistaken Damikis are not necessarily inexpensive i love their tremors i love their lipless not their big 80s but their 65s i think it is the tremor 65s one of my favorite favorite lipless baits in the world 
So, but this is just, um, it's interesting. There's no doubt. So let's, uh, let's get those comments flying, folks. Is it ugly sweater or good to go? Comment below. I mean, it was fun. I had a blast doing it. But it's just, uh, there's a lot going on in this one, y'all. Donald David, my buddy from New York, who you saw in a video around New Year's Eve. So I do an Arctic crappie, or is it an Arctic crappie? Yeah, I do an Arctic crappie on the Dinger S pressing that you guys have that's in the States. And it's a foiled bait, but he really liked the colors. The colors are a fluorescent red and a fluorescent blue and just a hint of pink. Um, there's less real estate to do that on, on the S cranks, uh, on those, on those party cranks, but, um, he wanted an Arctic crawl. So it was my pleasure to get, and he always likes a lot of glitter. I'm not usually a glitter person, but they work for him and he's a heck of an angler. So whatever he wants, he gets, he's my jig, jig tying buddy. So he got two of these. 120 SPs, also from Dinger Baits. They're somewhere over here. There he is. Um, also from him. And then I just uh, I blackened the eyes. I put the eyes in before I started spraying because it's you, you don't get different colored eyes with these. The eyes do come with them when you get them from Brian over at Dinger, uh, which is really cool. Thank you, Brian, for providing eyes. That is fantastic. Uh, at the price point, it's certainly worth it, and it's a good bait. These swim good, they suspend, so you might have to work just a little bit to get the weight on the trebles right. I like finesse trebles, those Aaron Martin Ganmagatsus on these, the short shanks. This is a three treble, but um, fun, fun, fun. And craw on top water, you say, or on a, on a jerk bait? Absolutely. Yeah, uh, pictures to show you. While I love these, smallmouth love these. They're just all around great, great, great patterns year round. So for Donald David and Tom Gramotsky, another New York fella who's actually from Jersey um, and loves to striper fish, and that's what he had asked for for me to provide for him uh, when I got a chance. So I've had a chance, and these things, um, my buddy Mark. Uh, it's it's over off screen up here in the corner getting ready to ship to him. He was out for the week, so he's coming back. But anyways, um, this is how that turned out. And I'm really digging this fan brush, y'all. I'm loving the fan brush on these jerk baits. It might be a thing. It might be a thing for 2020. Because it's definitely uh, a really bright, bright, fun pattern. Looks very graph, very graffiti, um, urban style. But I know that these are going to tear up some striped bass, some stripers. And look at that beautiful. This is the last of that KBS tester that they gave me. That's the new formula. It's not out on the market yet. Look at that beautiful shine. There's not a blemish, not anything on it. Yes, that's glitter. I accidentally got some glitter on his because they were right next to... Don's when I glittered his. Um, when you're dipping baits in KBS, there's another piece of glitter. Oh, there's a few. <laughs> you got some glitter, Tom. Sorry, bud. Um, when you're dipping KBS, normally what I'll do is I'll just um, I'll put it on after. When it's fresh, wet KBS or clear coat, whatever you guys are dipping it in. Um, and I'll either just sprinkle it on or I'll actually put some in the palm of my hand and blow it across the bait uh, while the bait is hanging down. So... That is that. You guys are noticing a, a little bit of change going on on this desk. I keep, it's morphing. It keeps, it keeps growing with more of my art. And what I was talking about on my Facebook feed this morning, if you guys caught that, I'm thinking about doing, this is a Warmouth. Uh, the original is a watercolor that I sketched uh, with a pencil and then traced over with pen and then added watercolors and then made a print out of it. These are available on the website at www.jekyllbaits. It's not just the baits. I do a lot of art. There's apparel on there as well. So this is a great time of the year for those lightweight hoodies. I've got some flag stuff going on there too, American flags with the, with the logo. Um, but I'm thinking about doing a decal of this warm mouth and also this front facing black and white graffiti style pumpkin seed. So I don't know. 
If you guys think that's a good idea, if you guys would use those stickers and slap them on stuff, everybody loves stickers, right? So just let me know. Let me know. And last but not least, going out to Jean Gunderson. Another one of these really pretty dark rainbow trouts. This is on that foiled lipless. There was an auction that he missed out on the last minute and he lost the auction, but um, he's a trooper. So normally uh, he'll request, he'll hit me up and say, hey, let me have one of those. And uh, you're, if, I, if you see the auctions on Bass Baits Buy and Barter, I do them fairly frequently. I'm kind of getting back into that because you guys have been requesting that I do that, which I have no problem doing. Um, but if you guys catch an auction, as long as it's not like a one and done, if it's like a unique bait like this guy, um, chances are good that you're not going to see these on auctions. You're going to see them straight sales. Um, same with this guy, this Brookie. So, but if it's an auction and it's a fairly easy pattern for me to remake, if you guys want something and you missed out on the auction, hit me up in Messenger and I'll be happy to make that happen for you at the winning auction price. And that is all the news that's fit to print this morning. I'm going to get to work and we should have, I've got something kind of, oh, I almost forgot because this is getting ready to go out the door this morning as well. Sorry, sorry. Got two more pieces to show you. This on a Sammy pressing is that lighter colored green sunfish. So yeah, I haven't manipulated the photos. It actually looks like this. It's not imaged. Somebody was saying, hey, when did you start imaging baits? Thank you. I'm flattered that you guys said that, but this is hand painted. So this was sold to... Um, sold to a good friend of mine and Tay is going to be getting this up in Pennsylvania so there you go there's that very fun pattern when you guys are using hand cut stencils and I can probably go over that in a video coming up fairly soon it's always good to finish that gill plate and go around on the throat because that's just going to add to your appearances. That's going to add to the realistic values of the bait. So there is that. It's a four inch with a feathered treble on the end. And then this is the finished version of the last spray session that Blue Ridge Red Northern Salamander that is common to creeks and streams. And as you can see on here, that two tone split on a black with a little bit of mesh. I didn't overkill the mesh. You kind of want that subdued because you want those salamanders to look like they would look as close as you can get it in nature. And this is also going out as well. So you guys take care. I hope you have a fantastic Valentine's Day, what's left of it, or if you've missed Valentine's Day and you're watching this on Saturday or Sunday, hey, thanks for the view. I really appreciate it. Thanks for stopping by the channel, and I will see you on the next spray session. I've got a special one for you. It's really cool, and I'm excited I'm filming that tonight. So we'll see you. Cheers.